Surprise! I told you I would take you to the beach and here we are sitting on what is arguably one of the best beaches in the world. Now um, the beach I'm currently um, making my little place and, and setting up a little bit of residency is the most amazing beach in Hawaii and it's called um, on the island of Oahu and it's called Waimanalo. Now Waimanalo is as you can see <laughs> right behind me absolutely breathtaking it is an it's only 20 to 25 minutes drive from Waikiki yet look how deserted it is right it is so completely deserted and the color of the ocean is something to re you've got to see it it's just absolutely breathtaking breathtaking the sound of the waves breaking behind me I'm sitting here on golden golden sand and literally feel like I've almost got the beach to myself yep there's a few people like down that way there's a couple of people down there but in general um, this is what you're going to get when you come to Waimanalo so um, we have been staying here in Waimanalo this is day three for us we've been staying at a little beach cottage I'm going to show you guys just how far it is from the beach to our little cottage uh, it is absolutely stunning and as I was saying it's one of the most spectacular spots in the world in fact it was so spectacular the first time I, I, I traveled here or around about maybe 15 years ago as and the first beach I ever set foot on in the Hawaiian Islands was actually Waimanalo. Before I went near Waikiki or any of those other beaches, I set foot right here in Waimanalo. Completely and utterly fell in love with what I was seeing and what I was hearing and what I was experiencing on this on this beautiful stretch of sand. And it, it, there's a lot of beach here too, by the way. Waikiki's quite small, whereas Waimanalo just goes on and on and on. It goes on behind me. And it also goes on in front of me, which I'm going to show you guys very soon. It just keeps on going on and on. And um, I was so impressed by this gorgeous, gorgeous beach. Got married here about five years ago to Mahi. This is where Mahi and I said I do about five years ago on this amazing beach with all of our family and friends watching. And then we went and had a big party in Waikiki, as you do. So it's a stunning beach. And I promised you guys over the last, like, this is day three of Bridget's Little Hawaiian Kitchen. So day one, if you're wanting to watch the recipes that I've done, all healthy, of course, all sugar-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, um, day one, I made a really healthy poke bowl, which is their marinated fish, which is an absolute staple here in Hawaii. And good, good evening to Martina. Good evening. Guten Abend. Ah, did I get it right, Martina? Guten Abend. And welcome. Welcome. Yes, I think that's. I, I think I may have gotten those two, two um, things correct. Let me know if I got it wrong. But um, wherever you are joining from, uh, joining us from in the world today, please let me know where are you coming from. Um, let us know where you, where you are. This is where I am, and I'm pretty happy uh, to be here right now. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon here in uh, Waimanalo in Hawaii. And um, as I was saying, this is day three of Bridget's little healthy, look, no, Bridget's little Hawaiian healthy kitchen. Day one, we made an amazing poke style salad with um, with a, a base of cauliflower and broccoli. Day two, which was yesterday, I made for you guys my garlic shrimp lunch plate, which once again, extremely healthy. And what we're doing a lot of at the moment, as you guys know, as we we're looking at immune boosting foods as well so things that are going to keep us healthy and keep us well because there's a lot of stuff going out there that we need to protect ourselves from and one of the best ways you can protect yourself apart from the basic stuff like hand washing and all that sort of you know and making sure that you're that you're limiting your exposure to potential viruses by you know just being really aware of your surroundings and, and washing your hands but also keeping your immune system nice and healthy so all the food you guys know i do is about boosting immune system but in the last couple days i've really put that on steroids to make sure that we're getting as many uh, immune boosting foods into our diet as possible so today is day three and what we're going to be doing today is my version of the hawaiian holy holy chicken now holy holy chicken is a marinated sort of teriyaki style chicken um, you marinate it overnight in the most gorgeous, gorgeous sauce, and then you basically can do anything you want with that chicken. You can, you can barbecue it, you can throw it through a stir fry, you can put it in the air fryer, you can pan fry it, you can basically do whatever you want to do. Hi to Emma 
joining us from New South Wales. Hello, Emma. Um, so you can do pretty much anything you want with that chicken. I'm going to give you guys the recipe for that amazing marinade. I have made my version sugar-free. Traditionally, holy holy chicken is made with brown sugar. Not in my kitchen, as you guys know. And I've, um, um, I've increased the immune-boosting powers of that marinade as well to make sure that we are looking after our health. So I'm going to turn you guys around now because we need to head into my kitchen. It's not too far away, but we're going to go for a little bit of a walk. Please join me on a little, we're going to go for a bit of a stroll along the beach together. In fact, why don't I walk up to the water because it is so stunning. Yes, I'm going to wet, I'm going to wet my jandals or as they call them in Hawaii, my slippers are going to get wet, my slippers. Um, but that's okay because you guys are worth it. So I'm going to turn you around. Let's go for a little walk on the beach and then we're going to head into my kitchen and we're going to create my version of the healthiest uh, Hawaiian style huli huli chicken you've ever seen. So bear with me as I turn you around. Hey, there you go. So that's what I was looking in front of me. There are the beautiful mountains of Waimanalo and they really are majestic. This is like Jurassic Park, right? And then down here, by the way, down there, for anyone who is in their late 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, you may remember a little show. A little show that used to be on television in the 80s. It was very popular. A little show called Magnum P.I. Well, guess where Magnum lived? Pretty much on that point right there. Do you remember when he used to come out in his Ferrari and he used to do that really big in the grass as in like in the start of the show? Magnum's or Robin's Nest, like Robin Master's Nest, was right there on that point. So we're right in Magnum P.I. country. The house where Magnum, um, where they film Magnum P.I. has been pulled down, which is a little bit sad, but they're building something pretty awesome. And rumor has it, um, Barack Obama now owns that bit of land here in Waimanalo, but check this, isn't this amazing? That's the other end of the beach. It goes on and on and on, and literally on and on and on, but it's the color. There's no filters on my video. I don't have any filters on here. Hey, watch out for that. Eee, ocean's coming. I have no filters on here, yet you get this amazing colour. So one of the beauties about Waimanalo is you just go out just a little bit past the breakers there on a little kayak or on a board and it gets quite clear. And I have um, kayaked and boarded all the way up to Magnum PI corner up there and it's literally, it's clear and gorgeous. And this is, this is my backyard. This is my backyard. I'm a bit of a Magnum fan as well, by the way. Bit of a Magnum fan. So this is, oh, by the way, the other thing that's really gorgeous about Waimanalo is um, right there is where sunrise happens. So you're on the sunrise side of the island of Oahu. So this is the east side. If you want a good sunset, then you go to the other side, which is Waikiki, but you get the best sunrises here. But let's go into my kitchen. We're gonna walk this way. It's not far, like literally it's so close. It's so gorgeous. I'm, I'm feeling very, very blessed and very fortunate that I get to be able to do this type of thing. <laughs> Which is, oh, hang on, I missed the, there's lots of ways to get up, but I think this is the way that I've been going. Yeah, you just find yourself a little path. This looks like a little, oh, oh, little path to me. <sighs> and you get to walk amongst all these gorgeousness. Oh, I love it so much. But you know what, having that view behind me, sometimes I don't know which way to look. Like, am I gonna look towards the ocean? Usually. But then you turn around and you also get the opportunity to look towards this amazing mountain range. And you feel pretty good about life. All right, here we go. Busy road. This is like the main road. If you continue down that way, you go towards Kailua, you go towards Lanikai, which is another amazing, amazing beach here on the eastern side of the island. And if you go towards that way, oh, I might cross now. Here we go. If you go towards that way down there, that's Magnum P.I. corner. <laughs> you'll never forget that. Every time you come through Waimanalo, that is what you're going to remember. So we just crossed the road, but check it. Can we just go back and look? Oh, and not, oh gosh, look at that. Look at that. Just across the road from me. So the other um, beautiful, if you've ever watched a movie called, quite a famous one, uh, Blue Hawaii, um, Elvis. There is a scene where Elvis is driving in his car and he's actually going past all this little bit here, which is the most gorgeous part of, of Waimanao. All right, okay, but let's go into the kitchen because I'm very excited to cook this dish for you guys today. And the reason why I'm so excited about it is because 
it is a classic it is a hawaiian staple um the holy holy chicken and um holy holy in hawaiian means to turn so it's kind of chicken that you could imagine that's been marinated and then it usually turns on almost like a spit roast which is really cool this is where we're staying we're staying at te manawa and she's got the most gorgeous gardens here by the way gorgeous gorgeous gardens look at that there's a spa pool for us to use over there if we so want to but we are staying in the back cottage just down here past all this lovely greenery the beautiful beautiful lady who has planted all this amazing greenery and who looks after the property this is her home at the front and we're staying at the back she's really just done such an exceptional job such an exceptional job i want to show you guys so this is if you were to hire this little cottage all this here this little waterfall that you can turn on all this here belongs to the cottage including including this little gorgeous little place where you can relax some day beds in there and then this is where i have my coffee in the morning just over there isn't that stunning all right let's go inside sound should get a lot better now in fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to attempt to take out my headphones there's my kitchen set up ready for you guys i'm going to turn it around again see if we can do hey <laughs> it's me again now what i'm going to attempt to do now i'm hoping it's going to work because i'm going to take this out please let me know if you can hear me once it comes out are you ready if you if, if you can't hear me once i take these out because i've got to unplug it from my phone we'll cut this um episode and i'll start a brand new one which will be part two when we actually do the cooking all right so i'm just going to wait to hear that you guys can actually hear me once i take it out i'll give you guys a little bit of time to say yes we can hear you coming out now <laughs> 